Bus stop pickup shows Warrington coach Steve Price what Wembley means to Wolves fans. Steve Price knows exactly what Warrington fans demand ahead of Saturday's Challenge Cup final, after picking one up at a bus stop. Aussie Price is aiming to lift his first piece of silverware less than a year after inheriting a squad that finished ninth in Super League last season. He got an insight into what Wolves fans expect after giving a lift to one startled supporter for the recent home win over this weekend's opponents Catalan's Dragons. Price said, he was waiting for the bus, had tats all over him and all the Warrington gear on. He just looked like a good genuine bloke going down to watch Warrington play. I said where are you going to mate, he said he was off to the football so I said get in. He was a little bit shocked. I introduced myself and he said mate, I know who you are. My daughter was a little bit nervous and thought he looked scary, but he was a good fella and we just chatted football. He told me what he thought which was great, they're straight down the line. He was very positive about the club and the way that we're heading. It turned out that he works in the hospital behind where we live and he was a good young lad. I dropped him off at the King's Head before the game and he had a couple of beers. I haven't seen him since. It was really important that from day one I got involved with the people. When I first arrived I moved into Stockton Heath in the heart of the town and embraced all the local charities, they do so much charity work over here in Warrington. It blows my mind how everyone gets behind and wants to help people, what the Warrington people do for each other is fantastic. Price's side have been labeled clear favorites for Saturday's final by Catalan's counterpart Steve McNamara, but the Warrington boss isn't convinced. He added, I wouldn't agree with that. They've been playing some really good football of late and won a number of games on the trot to get where they have. They've had two losses in recent weeks to us and Wigan, but that will count for nothing come Saturday. I'd say it'd be two good footy teams going hard at it.